Hi everybody, this is Gatsad. As many of you who follow me know, I use satire and sarcasm as one of many uh, tools within my arsenal of persuasion strategies. And one of the things that I love most and I take great pride in is to be able to fool naturally lobotomized fools into thinking that my satire is real. And in many cases, those who are fooled think of themselves as truly smart and enlightened. Well, just came out now. This is what a what a gift to end the year. It just came out now on PJ Media. Now this is, I think they follow me. I believe they're fans of mine. Uh, but just came out on PJ Media. The 20 worst quotes in the world in 2018. And yours truly made the list at number, let me see which number it is. Number seven, I had the seventh worst quote and I'm along with all of the progressives and Democrats and all the other schmucks uh, on that list at number seven, just behind my main man, Minister Louis Farrakhan, the one who compares the Jews to termites, the one who's had a long career of anti-Semitism, I'm with him. Now, the utter buffoon who compiled the list is unaware that the quote that he is using of mine is a satirical quote, is a sarcastic quote. Here we go. You ready? I love this. This is really what a great way to end the year. So this is, uh, I'm, I'm sandwiched, by the way, between Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan, an utter moron and buffoon who has no brains, and another utter moron buffoon who has no brains, Nobel Prize winner Paul Krugman. So at number eight, there's a new axis of evil, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and the United States. I'll skip mine at number seven. Now, this is the seventh worst quote in the world of 2017. Look, Ma. I'm super famous. At number six, white folks are going down and Satan is going down. And Farrakhan, by God's grace, has pulled the cover off of that satanic Jew. And I'm here to say your time is up. Your world is through. That's at number six. I'll come to number seven, mine in a second. At number five, I'm really here amongst some illustrious idiots. We have to stop demonizing people and realize the biggest terror threat in this country is white men. Most of them radicalized to the right, and we have to start doing something about them. CNN host Don Lemon. Number four, we should rip Baron Trump from his mother's arms and put him in a cage with pedophiles and see if his mother will stand up against the giant asshole she is married to, actor Peter Fonda. At number three, the virgin birth is about an all-knowing, all-powerful deity impregnating a human teen. There is no definition of consent that would include that scenario. <laughs> Minnesota State University Associate Professor Eric Sprenkel. Number two, I have noticed that Trump Jr. here has a habit of posting nonsense about me whenever the Mueller investigation heats up. Please keep it coming, Jr. It's definitely a very, very large brain idea to troll a member of a body that will have subpoena power in a month. Congresswoman-elect Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Oh, she's a brainiac, this one. And number one, if you see anybody from that Trump cabin in a restaurant in a department store at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. Probably our top intellectual in the world today, Representative Maxine Waters. And what is yours truly? Humble moi on that list. Here it is. Number seven. To all noble, undocumented immigrants, we apologize for our bigotry and racism. It is Nazism to not allow you to vote in our elections. After all, national borders is Nazism. Nationhood is Nazism. In a just world, everyone should get to vote in any district. Hashtag, <laughs> we apologize. 
Canadian scientist got sad. That made it as one of the worst quotes of 2018. And the morons, the buffoons, the naturally lobotomized idiots at this outlet did not realize that I was satirizing all the other people on that list. Life is truly beautiful. Happy New Year, everyone. I will continue to slay the miscreants of reason, the enemies of truth, the intellectual terrorists, wherever I find them, wherever they hide, wherever they put out their heads from the shadows where they live. And you should do the same. Happy New Year. May the new year bring you nothing but love, health, and happiness. Please consider supporting the channel. Talk to you soon. Cheers.